four into it right now. These are honestly pretty solid. <laughs> well, there goes nothing I got. All right, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Pit Bike Tire video. Today, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are doing Rubik's Cubes on the Pit Bike Tire. Justin's already over here getting them unpackaged. Um, I'll cue the clips from when I went to Walmart to get these things. The whole Rubik's Cube stash. I think I need like 15 or 14 if my math's right. Yeah, we got quite a few Rubik's Cubes and uh, right now we're brainstorming, trying to figure out how we're going to actually attach it to the wheel here. Um, I was starting out thinking that I was going to be able to kind of drill a hole directly in the center of one of these, but I put it on the little drill press here and uh, it kind of just disintegrated because it has this little middle piece if the camera would focus. Uh, that's not an option to drill through and then zip tie through the entire thing um, around the whole wheel and then over the whole rim. So now we're trying to figure out something else, maybe potentially wire them, zip tie them. Stuff like that, so. If you can figure this out, I'll sub your channel. <laughs> yeah, I was never good at these. You got it, boss. No, if if you can solve a Rubik's Cube, comment down below, because I can never figure it out. It's unpackaged, and uh, we'll figure out how we're doing this. So here's the update, what we're gonna do. So I have this wire, we gotta run to the store, get some more wire. We're gonna wire around, tie it around the rim, and then we're gonna wire all of them together. Before that, we're gonna get a little cardboard, fill it, duct tape it so it's flat, have it flush so we can super glue and tack them in place, that way it kind of holds everything. Along with that, we gotta run to the store, get six more Rubik's Cubes, and we'll be ready to go. Stuff we need, probably get the strongest stuff, 25 pound, or no, this is 55 pound. That's kind of thick, I don't know if it'll fit. Let's get two of these, I guess. Seven more of these should do it. Well, here's all the supplies, wire, linesman, and the Rubik's Cubes, and I guess we'll get at it and start wire tying these things on there. You can already see the other videos we've made of the Drift Quad tire videos where all this is sparked from. You can check a whole series on the channel where we've kind of experimented with a bunch of Drift Quad tires. And now moving on to the pit bike, if you didn't see the tennis balls and the rubber bands one. Before we get into the rest of this video, if you have not gotten an entry in to win the CR125 I'm giving away, this thing is spotless, completely brand new. Everything is brand new on this thing. If you haven't seen me talk about it, I don't know where you've been. Every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing on my website. The top line in the description where you can order key tag stickers. Those GoPro Dango gripper mounts I use in every single GoPro video. Every single order placed today will get an entry in to win a free pair of these goggles. I have two of these goggles that I'm gonna throw in a random order. You'll see me putting a random order in the next video. So if you wanna win a free pair of blur goggles, these things are just came out of the packages, you'll get them in the package. Um, place an order today, today, and I'll throw it in a random order. Cardboard around first. Actually, we'll start over here. Actually, kind of holds itself in there. So if you guys have any other ideas on potential tire videos, let me know in the comments. Give me some ideas, and uh, we'll try and do them because these things are just different, fun to make. They're pretty funny. Different from, obviously, the track videos and us just riding all the time. And if you want to see more of these, smash the thumbs up button, and uh, we'll keep trying to come up with new ideas. Yeah, these videos are pretty dumb, but you guys seem to enjoy them. I guess we'll start just taping it now. Try and fill the gap so it's somewhat flat in the rim. Honestly, I think this would look better if I was doing it on one of those new Honda pit bikes. I think that's what would top the video off, right, Justin? Best way I could think of to get them attached where they would hold on aside from epoxy or super glue or twister. But this'll do. This might be the best one yet. To be honest, all set and done once I'm finished. This lasts around the lawn, I'm probably gonna bring it over to the track and try and jump this thing. Stay to the end of the video if you wanna see that. That thing is a wheel of death. <laughs> We're four into it right now. These are honestly pretty solid for this is probably the best one since I learned how to pull it really tight. But well, here we are about halfway done for all these tabs so it doesn't potentially stab you. I'm just gonna bend them all in and Hopefully they don't fling off. Getting the hang of it to pull it tight and get them to lock down. It's pretty straightforward. 
These are pretty solid like this. I think once we run them around like yeah. that, that's gonna be yeah. like. This is gonna, like I said, be the most solid one once we do the ones down the center. I don't know if these are gonna come off. If the wire breaks or if the Rubik's cubes start flying off individually everywhere. The final stretch, two more, almost done. Well, here's the dilemma. We got one space and uh, two don't fit, so I don't know if we're gonna try and cut this in half or fill it with something. I don't think the hammer's gonna do it. If you catch my drift. All right, last step, do the main. Oh, this is gonna suck. Hold it, I think, for the most part. Oh, we're gonna break them. We're gonna break it before we even get started. Let's see if she fires up. Well, battery's smoked. What's new? But by the looks of it, we're probably gonna continue this video tomorrow. Okay, so the next day here, we're gonna get it loaded up in the truck and bring it over to the track to give it the full test. Whoa, buddy. First kick. Put it in gear. Let's see it all. See all the colors. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh. If I drop it and they all break, I'm gonna be really upset. Ugh. All right, we got the riding boots. We're ready to head out. Go we'll test this thing out. I'll warm up right now. See, she's still trusty. First kick every time. Come on, for how much I beat on it. It's so windy right now. childhood I couldn't figure out how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Maybe today's the day. We'll see. If you guys are new and this is the first pit bike video you're watching, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to what, Justin? 5,000 likes. We'll keep doing them. Do another one. 5,001. So 5,001 likes and we'll keep doing these dumb pit bike tire videos. So leave in the comments what other potential tires we could do on this thing that might last longer than the past two we've done or maybe this one. Let me get my helmet on and Might as well put the goggles and gloves on too. Shout out to O'Neal for hooking it up. If you guys are in the market for any new riding gear, hit up O'Neal. What, can you steer the bars? You do the bars and I'll just hold up the back. Like I'll just hold it by the swing arm or something. Here we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, for the thumbnail. This goes into thumbnails. Alright, well, here goes nothing, I guess. We'll give it the full test. Yeah, that'll take just, them right they off. They all just blow right off. Yep. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just got hit in the back of the neck with one. I'm probably all just gonna blow off. Surprisingly, grip's pretty good just on rim. Man, this made a mess.
Well, of course the bag rips and the pieces go out all everywhere. And I think that is the last one here, finally. It didn't take us too long to clean up. Let me explain, look at this pile of Rubik's cubes. Put Let me explain something here. Bag, Our purpose is not for this to last a super long time. We're just testing to see what will last the longest, this being probably the best right now. No duct tape. Oh, no, but as far as the pit bike goes, oh, we got another piece. So I'd say if we had a tire that lasted longer than two minutes, that would be a very successful tire. I guess that's enough. I don't really, I'm not gonna hit any of these big jumps. That's just a bad idea. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have not gotten an entry in to win the CI-125 and say you want a dangle mount, I've had on my helmet the whole time, or all my website, t-shirts, stickers, key tags. I just released new stickers on the website. So if you want those, I'd get those now before they're gone. And uh, yeah, top line in the description brings you to my website. If you guys are new and you wanna see more dumb videos, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up, get the video a 5,000 likes. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. So like I talked about in yesterday's video, anybody who ordered a shirt was getting entered to win a free dango mount. If you don't watch to the end of the videos, sometimes I talk about how you can win some free stuff. Today being a free dango mount, which is pretty hot right now. Everybody wants these things. So the winner of the dango mount is Catherine Brown. They just ordered an XL TMMX electric logo tee, and uh, we're hooking you up with a dangle mount, so hopefully you like it. 